Hey everyone, so this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I'm actually going to be doing a commission video for you all, showing you all step by step on how to make a class mod for Baldur's Gate 3. What makes this video different is that I'm just going to take you all step by step on how to actually make the class without really having any cuts that could possibly distract you all from the finer details of what you need to do. So I'm, I'm really going to be talking through what I'm doing so you know what you need to do to start making some amazing things for Baldur's Gate 3. So let's get started. So I already have some of the things open up here. So what I have open up in the background, I have the Baldur's Gate 3 modders multi-tool opened up in the background along with the localization tool or lslib. So those are going to be important once we get for the later files. Before we can't get started, we need that class template. So we're going to download that from Nexus and you can get the link to this on the original video that I have. Now I'm going to extract it into its own folder. And now you'll see that we have the class template folder. And this is really the folder that we care about, the class mod template folder. And once we open it, we have three folders where we're gonna do the majority of our work. So fortunately, you don't really need to delete anything here. We're just gonna keep it nice and clean. So let's get started. So first, you wanna go to the mods folder. You wanna rename this folder, the example folder, into your mod name, which in my case is gonna be Flowerboard. So this is the case sensitive mod name that you wanna have that's right. Then you're going to double click on that and you're going to edit the meta file which alters the metadata so i'm opening it with notepad plus plus i just like working with that a little bit more but you can use whatever text editor that you want so now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the fields as i described in the original video change the author name and then you want to change the description to what the description will be in the mod manager it really doesn't matter what it is and then you want to change the folder name directly to the name of the folder that you're using for your class mod, which in my case will be Flowerborn again. And then we're going to change the name right here to the name of your mod. And as for these other fields, the only other one that you really need to edit is this UUID. So in order to edit that one, we're going to open up the modders multi-tool, generate a UUID. Without the handle ticked off, you can click it and then you're just going to paste it in and save it and great that's first step down so we don't need to do anything more with the meta file it's really let not very important so now we want to go to the public folder so this is where we start changing things up for the actual class so again you want to rename the folder to what your mod name is it has to be case sensitive so i'm changing it to flowerborn open it up as i outlined in the video for purposes of what we're doing, we only really care about two folders, which is class descriptions and progressions. So let's start with editing the class description, which is the one you probably want to edit first. So as I detail in the video, we want to carry forward the class equipment. So you can customize that as you want. But a key thing to note here that I didn't completely clarify in the video, you need to change the class equipment entry because this entry here doesn't actually exist in the equipment.txt file that's provided with the class template. So in order to find that file, so you do the right thing, you go to the stats folder, go to generated, and then open up the equipment.txt. So this is the name of the loadout that you want. So equipment underscore cc underscore example. So just copy that and then you just paste it in here. So it's now equip.cc underscore example, just as you see. Now we want to start editing the other fields. So, so for the description, we need to make a handle for this. In order to do that, you want to click the handle bar in the modders multi-tool, click the generate button, and now you have a handle where that you can click on and then it will uh, copy it to the clipboard. So then you just paste that new handle. And then for the display name, you want to do the same thing. So keep the handle ticked and generate a new handle, click it again, and then we're going to put that in there. So the only other fields that we really kind of need to edit here. So the name, obviously, we want to change that to your mod name. So Flowerborn. Uh, for the progression table UUID, we need to make a unique UUID for that. So untick the handlebar, click generate click it and paste it as you can see and then for the uuid 
We need to make another unique ID for that. So click generate again on the modders multi tool and then copy and paste the UUID in. So we have that in place. So I'm going to keep some of this other stuff, but for our purposes, again, for, for what we need to accomplish for the sake of this tutorial, we don't need any of this subclass information, so we can just delete it. So it's really deleting at the point where it's this node and then the slash node, which is just kind of a, a way of organizing the code. So great. So we've edited that. Now we're going to save it. I'm not going to close it just yet because we need to call back to the progression table UUID once we get to the progressions field. So now we're going to go back. So now we're going to be going into the progressions folder. So you want to open up progressions.lsx, open it with notepad. Here we, we really don't need all this other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Make sure you're following the syntax. So you're not deleting things that you shouldn't. So really just focus on those node entries and then we can delete this one here too. For purposes, again, of this video, let's just keep things simple. For the name, change it to your class name. And then we want to change the table UUID to what we had in the class description. So go back to that file, find the progression table UUID row, and then copy that. And then go back to the progressions file and then paste it in. For the UUID row, for that, you want to make another unique UUID. So click generate on modders multi-tool and paste in the new code. So great. That is everything we need from that file. So you can, clo you can close down progressions, but don't close down class descriptions just yet. So now we are all done working in the public folder. So now we can make the localization files. So go to localization, English. So now we can go ahead and delete this loco file. We don't need it. And then rename the XML file using your case sensitive mod name and the file name. So now open it up with notepad plus plus ls lib to work you need to delete those top two lines leaving just what i have here now we're going to make it so your class name and the description will show up in the class selection so remember how i said not to close the class descriptions so i want to keep things organized so the template has the display name below the description so i just like having the name on top so i'm going to copy this handle for the display name go back to the XML file and then replace this first line with that. And then I can replace the example text that's here with the name of the class. So now go back to class descriptions and then copy the handle for the description. And then in the second line that has the double quotations, you just paste that between the quotation marks and then you can put the description of your class between the greater than and less than signs. So I'll just say like an awesome flower, first, demon, magic, power. Just put out random words. <laughs> you know, I could, I could probably sell a mobile game called that. Curse, demon, magic, power. Uh, okay, and that's, that's all you need to do with the XML file. So we can close that. We're done with the class description too. So we can close that if you want, or you can just close out notepad. So now we are ready to make the actual loca file. So let's open up the LSLib tool. You want the game set to Baldur's Gate 3 as I have it here. Go to the localization tab. And then we want the input file path. You can use the, the file selector to manually locate it. I'm just gonna right click on the file and copy it as a path and then paste it in like this because it's just a little bit more efficient. And then you can copy the whole thing, paste it, and then replace the XML with loca and click convert. So localization file saved successfully. If you had an error right here, it's usually because you didn't delete those first few lines in the XML file that I mentioned should be deleted. So just something to watch out for. And that's pretty much all that you really have to do to make your custom mod so now we can go ahead and make the actual pack mod is which is what will be loaded into the game so go back to your root folder with these three folders and then you're just going to go up by one directory so you want to drag this over into the blue box here and then that's going to create this class mod template.zip file which will contain the pack file 
So this file you can upload alone onto Nexus. What we all what we ultimately need though to make it work in game is the pack file. So for this you want to extract all and it's just going to put the pack file into the folder right here, which is what we want. What we want to do is load this into the game so we can test it. And now what we want to do is import the mod. So go to file, import mod, and then we want to go back to the mods folder, find where you put it. So I'm going to load that. So you can see now it has the right name. And in order to activate it, you just want to drag it over on the left part of the screen, go to file, save order. You probably don't have to do that, but I just like doing it. And then export order to game. So great. So now let's run the game and make sure that it works. So once you start the game, all you really want to do is just click a new game to test it. Pick whatever game mode you want. It doesn't really matter and get to the character creator. So now to test it, you just need to click the class button and you'll see that you now have your special mod. And when you click it, it won't crash as it should. And that's really all you have to do. So as you can see, of course, there are some other things that we can customize at some point, which I'll be making videos about. Again, just feel free to leave comments on what you want to see and we'll make it happen. My next Baldur's Gate 3 video will be about how to make subclasses. So that's something to look forward to. And then as we move forward and I hear people's interest, I'll make other topics as well. So you have any interest in any other videos that are much more systematic and kind of focused like this, just let me know and I can put together a commission and we can see about making it happen. Of course, I want to thank my patrons who helped make this video possible, particularly Semi who helped support this commission. And then I also want to support Zaysir who also supported my channel. Thanks for watching and Starship out.